Spit that out of my sink? I wasn't gonna swallow it. Disrespectful. <laughs> I can't even let you sweet talk me into coming over. We're not supposed to be having sex, remember? It's not sex. I just gave you a bull drop. It's the same. No, but we can make that same thing. Mm, need to clean your mouth out. And you <laughs> need to <laughs> not be rude. <laughs> ah. So. Melanie's coming over. You gotta go. I was on my way out anyway. Complete waste of my time. Well, how much? A very, very low six figures. It's like, I figured they do that, so I did my research, right? Mm. Do you know that the guy who's working below me is going to be making the same amount as me? Uh. And guess what color he is? And then when I questioned the offer, they started fumbling over their words mm. and, you know, stumbling around, making all these excuses as if I didn't expect to know my own value, you know? It's like, have I not proven myself enough in this business? Damn. Mm. I mean, you're never trying to play back people. Exactly. It's like they want, you know, our coolness, our dances, our sound. But then when it comes time to pay up, they get mush mouth. You know, it's exactly why I'm just going to stay in business for myself until I get presented with an offer mm. that actually is worth my time. I'm sorry, babe. It's cool, man. It's fine. You know, mm. it's actually probably best that this happened because it's just going to motivate me to get on my grind and go even harder and prove that I don't need the backing of some non-black industry people trying to tell me how to navigate in my own culture. Oh, do not get me started on culture vultures. I mean, I had to deal with my share of them in the literary world too. When I was shopping around my first book, they basically told me that in order for it to sell better, I had to put in Ebonics because I was black. I'm not even surprised. What'd you say? Well, I mean, of course I was fuming on the inside, but I had to keep it professional in front of the racist idiots until the meeting was over. Now, thank God that I found a home for my book and it's on a third printing. That's good. You know, they're actually probably sitting around right now wishing they signed you though. <laughs> nah, they probably looking for another me. But there's not many successful black queer writers in this industry. And they pit us up against each other, even though we aren't in the same lanes. I'm actually thinking about expanding my business outside of music and getting into other fields. Hmm. Like what? I don't know. I have a few contacts in sports. Okay. And those young guys, they could really use some representation before getting signed into the league. Hmm. But it's just a thought. But a good one. Hmm. You're always thinking about the next best thing. It's gotta be. It's one of the things I love about you the most. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What else do you love? 
Well, you're smart. Mm-hmm. And you have a nice smile. <laughs> what else? And you have a big Natasha. heart. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> and you love me and all my craziness. I sure do. Mm-hmm. You know, and we're going to grow old and be crazy together. Mm-mm. See, that's why you got me fucked up, baby. I'm going to be doll and twink like forever. Ah, uh, here comes the delusion. It's not the, ain't no delusion. You put a ring on it for a reason. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's true. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Derek, he told me to be there at around 10, but I'm like, for what? A sleepover, I feel like, starts at like midnight. And then he was like, brain snacks, but I'm like, boy, nothing is gonna be open that time of night. So then I was like, I will ask you where I should go. Hey. What's wrong? You been acting salty all day. I'm trying to vent to you. Damn. I just can't. I just don't get how some people will never change, you know? Uh, who? I was at Kevin. We was talking. Wait, why the fuck were you at Kevin's for? Hello? I wanted to see if we could get past all of our bullshit. You know, see if we could be boys again. Since I don't have any real friends outside of the pen. Oh, so y'all old asses want to be boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see. And that's the thing. Clint isn't the last nigga in the world. Or in Easton at that point. You know, he's... And you would want to be around that dark energy again, really? He said you would say that. But we all got our shit. Besides, I know that man's character, you know? Or lack thereof. Come on. I'm serious. I'm being, I'm being serious. No, I'm being serious. You know I don't let too many people get close to me. <laughs> I went over there with the best intention. I bet. And with an open mind. Just and Kevin mind. told me some shit that fucked my head up. about Rob. I can only imagine. The nigga made a deal with somebody to go to the cops and snitch on Rob knowing he wasn't the shooter. Fucked up my homie's life. That's some weak ass shit. What did he say who the person was? So, babe, mm-hmm. uh, something's been on my mind for a while now, and I feel like this may be the right time to address it, especially since we're being a little bit more sexually adventurous. Okay. Shoot. Well, I know you don't like prep and the effects that it's had on your body, mm-hmm. and seeing the fact that we've been dipping natural mm-hmm. sometimes, a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, we need to go and get tested regularly. Okay, uh, that's fine. But Christian, I really hope that this doesn't have anything to do with me cheating. Stop, okay? You know, I am not going to be bringing up your mistakes and holding shit over your head mm-hmm. every time I want to address something or make a point. Because shit like that just backfires. Right. And the only thing that I care about is that we focus on our relationship and make sure that we're being honest with each other and being transparent, especially when it comes to our health. Agreed. You know, I know you are even super health conscious and I am too, but I had to check myself mentally last month and make myself go sit down and get a physical. Especially with the way I travel sometimes. I needed to stop. Mm. Hell, I mean, a lot of gay guys, they don't necessarily focus on the inside. They spend so much time on the outside. I agree. Oh, look at us. (laughs) Sounding like influencers and, you know, life coaches and stuff. Boy, if you don't go get up (laughs) on my face (laughs) talking crazy. No, I'm serious. I really like having these types of conversations with you. 
this is an aspect of our relationship that I value the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, you make me very aware of the importance of things that are short and long haul. You know, the adult shit. Well, um, happy to oblige you, big homie. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, so, so. your turn. Uh huh? Well, this is the part where you tell me what you value about me online. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I had like homework. Um, can I think about it for a second? I know it's a lot to think about, so. Uh huh. Tons, tons. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your willingness to learn and for us to be better for each other. You know, you bring so much needed levity and fun into my life. I mean, most of all, you are just a ball of pure light. <laughs> and not just light skin. <laughs> but I need that light and joy in my life, Logan. I need you. Hey. True. I don't know what to say. What? You. Or the loss for words. Got the cameras on. Oh, don't you try it. You know what? Good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, okay? Yeah. Hearing that just just rock back a lot of dark memories. Damn, that made the, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. So did he say who? He didn't say, but who's Rob beefing with so bad that they will pay Kevin a bag to be a fucking rat? See, that's the thing. Rob doesn't have any enemies. The only person with enough money and enough hate for Jabril. So what's their history? Well, it's complicated. Okay, so Derek used to date Jabril, who dated Brandon. And neither one of them knew about each other until I was at the shop and I overheard Brandon. So you know me, I went to Jabril's job to confront him, but he wasn't there. So I met Rob, and I might have blurted it out. Damn you, messy babe. No, 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 no. Oh, God, it's not like that. So this is the kicker. Jabril and Rob were bartenders together, and Jabril was going by some uh, his mother's maiden last name, uh, Anderson. And saying how he's, he was some struggling uh, music producer and a whole bunch of other bullshit. But the thing is, Rob and Brandon are best friends. So all hell broke loose. <laughs> this shit is... Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, so... Derek and Rob ended up falling in love with each other based off of their hatred for Jabril. So that was even bringing more confusion to everybody. See, that's the thing. If Jabril would pay you to kill Brandon, of course he would fucking pay Kevin to blame it on somebody, to blame it on Rob. I wonder, does Derek know? Stay out of it, babe. Ain't he about to die anyway? I are mean, you, he don't are need you? that kind of stress in his life. That's what I'm saying. You know? Well, we don't need that. Like, See, that's the thing. Yeah, I didn't do any of this stuff, but I know about it. What's that noise? I can't watch TV. Oh, this is my shit right here. <laughs> they be cooking up everything on here. You ever seen it? What? 
What's going on? Hey, yo. I mean, what's up? I'm here now. You're here now? Where the fuck have you been all week? I've been texting you and no response. You haven't been that busy. It takes 10 to 20 seconds to text somebody back. So what's up? Listen, I told you last week I was going to be busy. Oh, busy? Yeah. <laughs> Sound like you must miss me. If you do, just act like it. Miss you? Yeah. I would never miss being mistreated. I don't know what type of dudes you're used to dating, but I'm not some booty call you just pop up on. And then last time you were here, we had sex, something I didn't even want to do. <laughs> you didn't want to do it? No. Shit, I couldn't tell. You wasn't acting like it. It's not that I didn't want to do it, but I wasn't ready. And I thought, hmm, let me give this guy a chance, and then you pull this shit on me. I told you I didn't want to be fucked with. Bruh, I don't know what's going on, but you bugging out right now, for real. I'm bugging out. Yeah, you okay. acting crazy. I mean, what's this, that bipolar shit? Honestly, because if it is, keep that shit away from me. Go ahead on and take your happy pills or whatever you got to do. I got too much on my plate right now. No, I'm going to stay out of it, but you do realize the ramifications of the actions, right? They fucked up everybody's life, especially mine's. <sighs> up until that point, <laughs> I thought if you were a good person, life brought good people. Until that first night I spent in jail. Yeah, but you got out because the charges were bogus, right? When I left jail, I had so much rage built up inside of me. And I did things I wasn't proud of. And I hated myself and it showed in the person I was with. It showed my destructive nature. <laughs> Are you talking about us? Let's go in the house. Let's go in the house. Come on. Saquon, my little bipolar thing isn't something I can just switch on and off. And those happy pills I take help me control it. Don't get my passion and my stance and my belief on things twisted with your ignorant, disrespectful ass. Plus, I shared something personal with you. A medical condition that you threw in my face. I can't believe I had sex with you. I can't believe I shared my body with you. Because you're just like all those other assholes out there. You know, it was, it was cool getting to know you, but I don't think this is going to work. Listen, man. First of all, you're absolutely right. I definitely should have responded. Then why didn't you? Like, what did I do? It's not so much that you did anything. I mean, let's just say it's me. I was just nervous. Nervous? Nervous about what? All right, so last time I was here, you kept mentioning your ex. And then, like, the whole bipolar thing and all this medication. Like, I never dealt with no shit like this before, bro. I was just scared a little bit, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. What you were getting into? I thought we were getting into getting to know each other. You know, talking and being transparent. But if that makes you nervous, then maybe you're not man enough for me. <laughs> I'm not man enough for you. I mean, last time I was here, we both know who was man enough. Man enough sexually, but mentally, I don't think you're there. Yeah, all right. How about we repeat last week, today, and then we can see who's man enough? Your ego and your arrogance is just a turn off. You sure it's a turn off? Yeah. I don't think so. I think it might just be a little turn on. <laughs> just don't get it. So listen, bro. You're absolutely right. I was being ignorant, and I did some research. I took some time out 
last week while it was wrapped up. Yeah, it's under research. So, I looked up this little bipolar thing. It's not a thing, it's a condition. Condition. And I realized that I couldn't judge, and I felt bad about it. So, why not pop up like I did last week, and, you know, maybe we could have another good time. I'll make you feel better. Oh, you want to be to feel better? Yeah. Oh, and, and have a good time like fuck again, right? Pretty much. Another mistake. Sex is not a care, and it damn sure ain't my care. Treating me well and being nice and acting like you actually give a fuck is how you get into my drawers. You're right. Listen, I told you you were right. I'm wrong. I fucked up this time. I think we can do a do-over. What you think? <laughs> Okay, yes. <laughs> Word. Well, how about we start off by you making that mail that you offered me last time? <laughs> the audacity. How about you take me on a date? You getting some booty and me cooking for you? You gotta earn all that back, buddy. Damn. Well, I think you well worth it. So we can make that happen. Okay. So, babe, you never answered my question. Right. Were you talking about Winston? Yes. I mean, he was never good for me, and I knew it. But yet, I kept burning myself just to keep the rage alive in me. I mean, that's the only emotion that kept me going. Okay, wow, I've never <laughs> admitted that to anyone. We all make mistakes and grow from it. Bart, that was more than a mistake. Look, I've done a lot of work on myself because it came to a point where I was gonna really gonna hurt someone close to me. It's like you close one chapter of your life, but then that shit just opens back up and you're forced to stare right back at all your mistakes and relive that shit all over again. I mean, I use the pain and all the shit that I went through in the past to make me a better man. I never want to be that person again. Especially now I got someone to live for other than myself. What if I'm still in that same place and I don't realize it? I mean, look, you're responsible for killing children. And I'm still with you. I mean, <laughs> any other person with common sense would have ran the other way or ran to the cops. But I'm here. So what does that say about me? What I did isn't a reflection of you. I didn't do it, but I know it happened. I mean... I was devastated, disgusted, like, shocked when you told me. But yet, I reverted back to what I used to do with Winston. And that is to bury it. I like it didn't happen. I like you didn't even tell me. What you trying to say? You trying to compare me to Winston? No, not at all. I'm just saying that... Maybe I'm still just the same person. <laughs> that food was delicious. Yeah, nah, for real. It was good as hell. Yes. Speaking of which, though, you sure know how to pack it away. I was definitely hoping you was going to eat a little. Like. <laughs> anyway. I just love sushi, you know? I see that, too. That damn soy sauce. He was drinking like it was Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right, chill out. Okay. <laughs> wow, for real. <laughs> well, thank you for the date. It was really nice. No doubt. You 
super happy you enjoyed it. Okay. Join this tip. <laughs> Tell me how we gonna enjoy the rest of the evening. Like, how we gonna end it? We can continue by talking. Thanks for the massage, though. Alright, cool. I respect it. So, remember that time I was here and I had mentioned my coach and that whole press release thing? Yeah, what about? So, I decided I'm gonna do it. Okay. Word. Good. So, I will be going for a few weeks, though. Okay. Is that your way of telling me I'm not gonna hear from you for a couple weeks, also? Come on now. We got past that already. I'm just trying to see if you're gonna be good while I'm going. <laughs> you're not my man, so of course I'll be good. I mean, we're adults, we're not tied to each other. You're right about that. And I like the way that sounds. But, um, even though I am focusing on myself and my goals, I don't see myself being single for too much longer. What do you mean? I'm just more of a relationship oriented person. And I'm into commitment and loyalty and being there for my man and supporting each other. Ground dates, all that nice stuff. Goals. Me too. I'm with all that shit. But honestly, when I see myself settling down, I see myself settling down with a woman. For real. A woman? The fuck did you just say? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm becoming a better man because of you. I'm changing because of the influence you have over me. No niggas ever cared about me the way you have. What can I do to make you feel better, baby? Bart, I gotta make myself feel better. Maybe I'm just tripping. Look, I'm gonna just work on myself. Work on yourself. Yeah. yeah, nigga. You ain't hear what I said? I did, but I'm confused. Listen, I like guys and all, but I just know that shit'll never work for real. Like, I want a family and to be married. You can do all that with guys. <laughs> that shit is a joke, bro. It'll never last. I want children from my own blood. Because I'm not doing no adoption shit. And then, like, when it's time to get married, I can see myself walking down the aisle in a white suit. <laughs> but what about you? In a, like, pink one? If I choose to be. You know what, Saquon? Maybe you're just a little too cynical for me. Nah, maybe you're just too fantasy-based. Listen. Men are sexual, all right? We both know what one another wants, so that's exactly how we know how to please one another. But anything beyond that, nah. Women, they just know how to cater to you and make you feel loved. Love? Real love doesn't have a penis or a vagina attached to it. Neither does being domestic or nurturing. When I love, I love with every bit of part of me. The good, the bad, the indifferent, the ugly, maybe a little evil. Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> but I could never imagine presenting a fucking boyfriend, let alone a husband, to my family. <laughs> I refuse to have him look down on me. I mean, I'm sorry to hear that, but it sounds to me like you need to be more comfortable with your sexuality. That sounds like the bigger issue. That's part of it. And I'm still a work in progress. That shit, one thing I do know for sure, I'm better than I was before. Way better. Let's, uh, let's talk about something else. You know? <laughs> Word.
Well, I'm so glad you guys actually came. Thanks for inviting me. And I was at home all alone. Girl, you always alone. Well, are you guys actually going to say hi to each other or what? Hello. August. Mm, so much enthusiasm. Hello, Ashton. Girl, you like I said your name at all. So have you been? Enjoying your job as a parole officer for your criminal of a boyfriend? Okay. Hey. Okay, then that's the last time you put my boyfriend's name in your mouth. How about that? Make me. Uh, Derek, this is your day. Should I make him? Oh my god. Okay. I would say you're too thin to win, but... <laughs> and I would say you snooze, you lose, but as I can see, you're clearly losing. Okay, can y'all stop? <laughs> well, I can keep going. This is ridiculous. Look... Let me just say this. August, I don't appreciate you coming to my house and disrespecting me. That's disrespecting that. you? Yes. I try to give you some genuine advice. First and last time I helped you with anything. That's the thing, August. How are you trying to give me advice? I'm good. Um, on your bullshit ass boyfriend who is up to no good? He really <laughs> isn't up to any good. Really? Because neither one of y'all got prizes here. And at least my man protects me one and loves me. Girl talking out your ass again. Me and Kevin aren't even together anymore. And just not too long ago, you said how Kevin was your knight in shining armor. Mm, I guess things do change. Come from the business dating two exes. Oh my God, August. You really need a life, honestly. I have one and it's better than yours. Right. Alone. <laughs> in my apartment. <laughs> not in a garage. Oh my God. Derek. Alone. <laughs> Derek, can you get him, please? Are you done? Are you fucking done? I wasn't doing anything. This is ridiculous. I already stated my piece. Y'all are mad at each other about absolutely something so ridiculous. Easton is small. And it has an even smaller dating pool. The likelihood that y'all are going to date the same guy is really likely. So there's really no reason for y'all to actually hate each other. Okay. Right. So now what? I'm gonna go change into my pajamas. And y'all are gonna follow me. And y'all gonna drop this fucking stinky attitude. It's so ridiculous. I'm gonna get up. And when I turn my fucking back, I better see y'all walking with me. Okay. I Come said. In. Coming. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Look, stop. I'm being serious. I'm usually mature and level-headed. Girl. But something about you that just disrupts me. I don't like it. Well, that's on you. But like I said, I have serious things to talk about. Look, Derek is going through a lot right now. So we have to start watch. He's going through real life-threatening things in his life. So all this caddy bullshit, you need to dead it right now. It's not my bullshit. It's your bullshit. How is it my bullshit? Look, it doesn't matter. Stop. Like I said, he's going through a lot right now. So let's just squash this right now. We don't have time for that. Why don't I just ask him what is going on? Ashley, what's wrong? Look, he has leukemia. So what does that mean? It means he doesn't have long to live. So, like I said, let's just act like Hello, normal. aren't you guys supposed to be getting dressed? We're coming right now. Okay. So, like I said, let's just... Let's act normal for him. Yeah. So, put on your stuff and let's be joyful. I'm serious. Hey, oh, have I love some thought with a bit. <laughs> Me okay. too. You know, guys, this is the first sleepover I've ever been to. Really? Yeah. My mom didn't really trust me going to other people's houses, and damn sure didn't trust people coming to our house, so. 
That was it. That's because they both knew that y'all were going to be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she looked at it that way. She just didn't trust people. Right. My mom was the same way. She had me on lockdown, but my brother, he could do any and anything he wanted to do. Older brother or younger brother? Well, I had a twin brother, but uh, he died in a bike accident. So, yeah. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. You ain't doing it. <laughs> Speaking about sex, Derek. Oh, <laughs> let's talk about sex, <laughs> baby. <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> Which one of your boyfriends fucks you the best? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That is TMI. Wow, he has two boyfriends. But I am Dude. appalled that you would ask me such a thing. As we listen. But since you asked. <laughs> so, you know, Ty is more of the raunchy, hit all the right spots type. Mm-hmm. Down for whatever. Mm-hmm. Rob is more of the passionate, sensual, romantic type. Okay. He caters to every part of my body. I want to get my prize. You can't have <laughs> yeah, one without the other. I bet. Well, I'll go and say that um, Bart is the best sex I've ever had in my life. <sighs> Lord. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are y'all hating for her? Ain't nobody hating on y'all. Okay, and if you want to ask, you can ask Clint, Kevin, whatever. I'm I'll pretty pass. sure he'll tell you all about it. I'll pass. Uh huh. <laughs> Look. I don't need any receipts because both of y'all know how Ty put it down since y'all both slept with him. You had yeah. with Ty? Yeah, both of y'all did. Yeah, the world just keeps turning. Ty's actually the first guy to penetrate me. Girl. What? You would up. <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? I'm not fast like you girls. Oh, please. <laughs> Only been with a couple of guys. This year? <laughs> don't try me. This yeah. week? <laughs> All right. Mm. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm over time. I regret that. I think everybody in the world regrets that. Yeah, I can see why you would. He was such a hoe. But I've tamed him. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. Uh-huh. Speaking of taming, I tamed a lot of Kevin's ways. Mm. His ass was so good. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> It was oh. so hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, we had a versatile relationship. It was better that way. Okay. okay. I'm not surprised, so. Anyway, I just think that a versatile relationship is just better mentally and sexually. All right, let's, let's, something else. So who are you talking to now? I'm actually talking to two different guys. Oh, you're taking nuts for me. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, I have a guys. top and a bottom. The bottom is this church guy. Wait, wait, wait. You go to church? I don't go to church. He does. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> and my top is this overseas basketball player. Overseas? I told you Eastern kind of small. That sounds a little familiar. Yeah, it sounds familiar. What's his name? <laughs> How um, he I- look? I'm not giving any names, but he's tall and chocolate. He has a great smile. <laughs> bitch, you're talking about Saquon. What? <laughs> this bitch is talking about Saquon. <laughs> Saquon. Please oh, don't tell me you guys fucked. No, 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 no. We are just cool. Good. I thought I'd be disgusted. Okay. Are you okay? Sure. Do you need something to drink? What's wrong? Derek, are you okay? I'm fine. I just had so much I want to do. And now I'm not even sure I'm going to complete any of that. Derek, stop. Stop. Up here. What's uh, going on? August. Stop. Just Let's die. Of laughing once we play this new game. Let's play a game or something. Let's change the subject. Like, no, I'm dying. You never mentioned anything to me. 
Well, never really the right time to tell you that I'm dying, is it? Look. Derek. You didn't have too much to drink. That's just so much I want to do. It's like, what was the point of going back to school? <laughs> Not even gonna finish my degree program. Why the fuck am I even thinking about that? Because education is important. Thanks for reminding me that I'm never going to get that. Yeah, Derek, don't think so negatively. Never going to get married. But two men for what? You can get married now. Oh, yeah. I'm not even on good terms with both of them. I've just been treating them like shit for the left. Stop. What? Now look at you. Look at you. Look healthy. You, yeah. I'm dying, Ashton. But you're not going to give up, so. Easy <laughs> for you to say. <laughs> you look like you alive and well and healthy. Tell me what the fuck I need to do. And you, are you need to mind your fucking business and shut up. Derek. I just think Ashley was just trying to help you just feel better in this time. Yeah. We're both I feel out. great. I feel great. You know, knowing that I might lose my life a month from now, two months from now. Who fucking knows? Stop. Because we're all going to help you. Yes. We're in this together. So if you want to get married, if you want to complete school, you can because you're going to fight and you're going to beat it. Or if you just want to enjoy your life. We'll be here for that too. It's all up to you. Stop. What are we thinking of? I can't sit there. What are you doing? Stop. What are you going to do? Well, clearly, you guys are not going to bring it up. I'm sorry about last night. It's oh, okay. no, it's okay. No, it's not. I got really carried away. The liquor got to me. We all have our nights. Yeah, it's no problem. I'm here for you. But you're going to get through it, so. <laughs> and I'm especially here for you. Um, I don't think he needs all this weight on his shoulder. He's going through enough. Then get off. Well, you know, this is about your day, so we don't want to start that drama again, you know? But like I said, you're going to push through it. Yes, yeah, about you, Derek. Go on. Honestly, I don't want to talk about it, and I just want us to have a great day. We will have a great day. Yeah. Because I got you. I have to go. I have a photo shoot to do. So right! Don't you have a lot of stuff to do? Like, we need to, you know? Uh, oh! Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, you're my best friend. Um, Ashton, it was nice. Uh, nice catching up. Uh, you know, you do your photo shoot stuff. Maybe we can collab one day. Who knows? What do you do again? The clothes and stuff. You know. Oh, um, maybe I can find like some big girls, what some plus oh. size models. Set. Yeah, that's call me or something. Give me my number. Hi guys. I actually need to find a big girl when she used to do that. I'm so glad she's gone. Well, finally we get some friend on friend time. Bitch, oh, this one never gonna leave. Oh my god, can you stop? No, I'm like I said, we made up and all that stuff. Plus, a bitch that comes to my house and disrespects me, bitch, we gonna have beef forever. I'm serious. Well, I don't want you to have beef with anyone or any shade. Try to shave my clothes, girl. That's why you alone in the house by yourself. But look, I don't have time for that anyway because I'm trying to get my life right. Because if it ain't about you, it's about me and Bart and keeping him on the straight and narrow. So I don't got time for that back and forth. Yeah. As long as you okay. And I'm going to do a better job of trying to respect him and your choices. And you know what? I'll even apologize. Boy, Bart doesn't need your apology. He's a tough cookie. He's okay. It was more about me. 
Okay, good. Because right. I didn't want to apologize to him. Either. All right, let's lock, get crazy, okay? Come on, Joker. Okay. Guys, hit on my friend, Joker Boy. But... So. Action. Ty. So y'all gonna be awkward today again. But y'all try to be nice to each other because our phones are back. Uh, hurry back. Please do. So. It's not wood, dummy. Bitch, it's not even a real thing. Who are you calling a dummy? Whatever. So I was. You know what? You go first. Look, I know that we aren't friends or get along for that matter, but. And why is that? Ty? Bitch, you know why. I don't know why. It's Whatever. not even a real reason. Whatever. But considering everything that's going on with Derek, I mean, I think we should at least try to be cool. I agree. Um, well, let me ask you a question. So how are you dealing with all this? Like, you and Rob having to be his support system. Dealing with what? I mean, you know, him not living that long. What is you talking about? I'm saying we well, have to be realistic. Man, we're going to do everything that we got to do for him. He's beat it before. There's no reason he can't beat it again. Okay, so... Do you believe what the doctors are saying? Man, look, we don't want no negative vibes on this. We got this. Period. You know what, Todd? You're right. I just want y'all to, you know, hold your head up. You know, you have my support 100%. You got to be here for there. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. I really had a good time last night. And I needed that. It forced me to reflect on a few things and I really do want to apologize to you. I know I'm a lot to deal with and I'm difficult. I know I'm a handful. But I also know that I'm lucky to have you and Rob. Yes, yes you are. Yes you are. But I want y'all to squash this beef. Right now is not the time for the petty shit. You right. I'm working on that and I'm also working on reconciling with my mom and telling my cousin what's going on. Speaking of, I mean, I've done some thinking myself and I've been considering the same thing. You know, my mom's never going to be perfect, but she's my mom and, you know, I at least want to be on good terms. I think that's a good idea. Life is short. <laughs> to deal with hearing this. Hey, mm. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really good after today's session. <laughs> yeah, definitely better than the first. Very much so. It, it, it definitely um, <laughs> makes me want to continue going back. I mean, it was almost like night and day. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely optimistic. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can build and yeah. heal and work on. But this homework, though, I didn't mm. think it was coming with homework. Speaking of homework, um, I know we spoke about communication and trying to understand each other more. Mm. So, um, what other time than now to really try to 
unpack some of this shit I've been holding in. Um, growing up, I uh, I remember when I was six or seven, and um, I would always get little compliments about being cute. People would come up to me and pinch my cheeks and explain to me how I was a little cute little button. And um, it transferred over to adulthood and I became sexy and attractive. From the age of six to where I am today right now, I look in the mirror and I don't see any of those things. I see not enough weird skin, awkward skin tone. I mean, things don't necessarily match. I'm not tall enough to do this. My body's not big enough to do that. Sometimes I don't feel sexy. Well, let me stop you right there. Because I think you were the sexiest smartest I mean look at you yeah. one of the most beautiful beings in the universe and if you for a second are doubting that in your worth at all in any way I will be here to remind you today in all days you hear me? I mean I hear you but that's not really how this whole insecurity thing I mean, just because you're telling me this, it's literally what I've been going through all my life. I'm still going to have to deal with what I see in the mirror, how I feel about myself, about my physical appearance, my work ethic, where I'm going, how I'm going to get there. Sometimes I just feel inadequate. I mean, even with us unpacking how my emotions and these insecurities tend to speak for me sometimes. It's hard. I don't know. I I don't really think you would understand it. I wouldn't understand it. You would be so, so surprised. I definitely get it. What do you think? Man, I can't believe my landlord. I pay all this money in utilities, and you mean to tell me you forgot to pay the light bill? It's fucking crazy. <sighs> I should go up there right now and say, girl, put me on the phone with him, because I can't do this. You want me to go up there and talk to him? <laughs> I'll go up there and I'll no, talk no, to him no, straight I, high I, ass out. This is crazy. Babe, I'm, I'm good. I'll handle it. I don't need you to do anything. Because <laughs> I got no lights, no room, no nothing. We're going to be assed out. I just sit in the dark and shit. But I like it, though. We got the candles, got the drinks. You got your smoke. Like, this is kind of cool. <laughs> so you're just easily impressed, huh? <laughs> no, I'm saying I got you, baby. That's all I need. <sighs> anyway, like I was saying, um, the sleepover. The sleepover was really cool. Um, I even, I guess I made some kind of truce with August. I don't know. <laughs> I want to hear about you made no damn truce with August, you don't even like him. I don't either, but Truth with August. it was because of Derek. You know, he's going through a lot and um, yeah. And I just don't know how to feel about that. I guess I just feel numb. It's like on one hand, you know, I gotta be realistic, you know, and not get my hopes up because <clears throat> that's gonna hurt me. But on the other hand, it's like, <laughs> you can't give up. He has to fight. He has no other choice. I'm sorry to hear about your friend. I am. But you know, sometimes things happen. That's a part of life. You know, maybe. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying things happen. Yeah, you don't know. That's my best friend. So how do you expect me to react? This is one of the closest people to me. And you're just acting so nonchalant like it's nothing. I 
I mean, for for somebody who's used to dealing with loss, death. You know, I don't really have feelings like that. Uh, that's still not fair. See, that's the thing that bothers me with you. It's like, you just act like you have no kind of connection to the world. I have a connection to you. <sighs> We're connected. Stop. You've never felt alone or abandoned or no. sad or no. any of that kind of stuff? None of that. Wow. I mean, I never felt any type of fear until I got shot. I mean, that's the only type of pain I felt was like, when I knew I wouldn't be able to keep my promise to you when I said that I would be coming back. All right, let's, all right, stop. <laughs> let's change the subject, let's, let's play a game or something. Play a game. Yeah, let's play with these nuts. <laughs> with these balls. Stop. I know fucking we can't even see shit. <laughs> Stop. Listen. I really need you to hear me when I say this. Because people so often make this assumption. And pretty much my entire life they made this assumption that everything, just because it looks perfect on the outside, that is perfect on the inside too. And it's not. It is the furthest thing from it. My entire life, I have felt pressure and have had to overprove myself to achieve things that I felt like I needed, I thought I wanted, or that my parents wanted or thought they needed for me to have. I mean, my parents are great. They really are. But at times, their demands it was so stressful and overbearing. And black excellence is great. And in a pride, that is beautiful. But it takes work on the inside. And it's different when you do it versus when someone is trying to cram it down your throat and force feed it to you. And, you know, I love my parents. They were so supportive. They really were. About the things they didn't care about, you know? But about other things that could be so cut, bro. Not even like I was that child. I mean, shit. My dad, when I was getting ready to go to kindergarten, he was teaching me about code switching, dude. Kindergarten. Wow. Telling me that, hey, you need to study these shows. Watch this. Read these books. Know these songs. Because... This is what white people like. And you don't need to make white people uncomfortable. And you need to do everything you can to make them like you and accept you and forget that you're black. While you are around them because you don't need to be a threat and you don't need to make yourself stand out too much. But it's cool if you say ain't and dog and all this other lingo and ebonics when you're around your black cousins. Just don't bring it to school and around white people because then you're going to be a failure. You know, so it took a lot of work to undo all of that training. And that's why now I am so committed to being myself. And if that means sometimes I stand out or I go against the grain, or it may not be the thing that people prefer, as long as it's me being true to myself, I don't care anymore. That was heavy. I definitely owe you an apology for assuming that things with you were just, you know, Gucci and gold. Everything comes at a cost of it. Well, I'm just happy that you opened up and told me about this. I mean, I mean, like I said, I felt like a guy like yourself, your looks, you know, your job, 
the size of your uh, demeanor. <laughs> Don't ruin the moment. Okay. I just felt like you had it all, and you just kind of glided through life as opposed to tripped and stumbled and bumped your head. And... So let me just put it like this. Don't assume. Because you would be surprised. You really would. How much chaos and stuff is going on in my brain. You know, on some real shit, no, I never had any feelings. I never really had any feelings that I started fucking around with you. Oh, for real? For real. I'm saying you're the only person I know that really can make me laugh, smile, or pissed off all of that shit at the same time, and I still fuck with you. <laughs> Whatever. So, okay, I have a question for you. There you go. <laughs> What's up? You're just not curious about, like, having any kind of family out there? No. Really? Like, I mean, I know you told me that you lost your mom and you didn't know your dad, but, like, you're not curious about having any other, any other kind of connection out there? I'm connected to you. I mean, it's all of the connection that I need. Boy, but no, fuck them. I'm not. They weren't looking for me. When I was out there in the street, nobody came looking for me. I don't need them. Well, look, maybe they didn't know who you were. You know, what if... I don't know. All of these what ifs. What if... You know... What? You never lost your mom. You know, what if you never went to the streets and... what Shit, what if you never met Clint? You know, you never think about what if you had a... Legitimate life. I don't know where about right none now? of that bullshit. I don't live in the past, you know, and I'm all right. I, I met you. You know, we're together. You know, all this what if. I mean, I don't want to focus on that. You're all that I need. We got each other. Fuck my family. You my family. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> as hard as you are on the outside. I don't know. You just have this this soft marshmallow interior that I just can't get enough of. The fuck out of here. Ain't shit over here soft. Not even for me? Not even for you. better want it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Shut. Why? You, stop. Get these lace on, man. <laughs> you know what? I'm through with you. I'm about to go upstairs and talk to your neighbor, your landlord. <laughs> stop. Don't do that. All right. Come here. Make you feel better. I don't need all that, man. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. Mm. I'm fine. You know what? Since we're continuing this honesty road, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like I might lose you. What? I mean, I get really scared because I can tend to self-sabotage things. Um, and just kind of run away from things when I get scared. and I mean, there's other moments where I don't necessarily like to divulge situations and talk about things. And I just, I get so in my head and I get freaked out. And it's, it, it just becomes... If you worry about all that, you're going to mess it up. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow. Doing things naturally. Every day is a new day. Handle what you're dealing with in the moment. Only deal with what's on your plate. Don't create something in the future that hasn't happened yet. Only deal with what's right in front of you, okay? And who's right in front of you. Well, I want you to promise me something. Mm -hmm. Promise me that if it gets hard and if it goes left for us, that We'll just end it. And we have admiration and respect for each other as opposed to disdain and hate. How about this? If I'm unhappy mm -hmm. or if you're unhappy, mm -hmm. then we can do that. 
This is bizarre. I'll do the work, okay? I'm no stranger to a little work. I'm not gonna be out of that easy. Okay? I promise. Pinky promise. Oh, pinky promise. I mean, you can do the other promise too. I ain't giving you no promise right now. You already got the death ring. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about that. I love you. I love you too. Love you more, actually. How much? I mean, I can just show you. What else should you do? You got something in there. Get him! So, babe. What up? How do you feel about like a, a short vacation? You know, for a couple of days to get away and um, yeah, we want to worry about the lights being off because we would be away. So it works out. Babe, I can't afford that right now. Oh, here you go. Look, I'm going to pay for it. You know, we can go somewhere local like um, Rainbow Mountain. We can do that. It'll be fine. That's not like some straight fairy shit, yo. Oh my god. Because it's a gay resort. And you're gay, right? <laughs> um. Okay, so let me do it and um, we'll have a good time. What you said? Hello? I Only if you let me plan the first night, though. Boy, this is my trip. How you gonna plan the first night? Because I promise it'll be something romantic. And I know you're gonna like it. Make it hot. <clears throat> okay, I'll let you do this. You better blow my mind. But you talk all that shit, so it better be fireworks and some else. Well, I'll blow your mind every night. Oh, whatever. Like I said, you better blow my mind the first night. How about that? So, uh, how about next week? Next week? Yeah. Right. Or you want some more of this? I can't do no more of this. Fuck out of here. Let's let's go on a little trip. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm down. So Rainbow Mountain. Cheers. Cheers. Let's toast to it. Don't go with Michelle and Obama fist pump. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Rainbow, Rainbow Mountain. Mountain it is. Rainbow Mountain it is. <laughs>